Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Pagaver's Garage, and uh, welcome back. So I know it's been a little bit of time since the last video. Uh, actually, tomorrow, I would have been doing a video. Tomorrow is our monthly cruise in Oklahoma cruise, and uh, it's going through some cool towns tomorrow, but unfortunately, I have been sick. Uh, I tested positive for COVID, and so I've been kind of isolating and staying away from people. And so it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I could go and probably do the car part of the cruise, uh, just not get out of the car and not really mingle with people. I don't know. Still kind of up in the air on that one, but we'll see. But what I want to come on here today and talk about is uh, what's in the boxes behind me. So I have been for quite a while thinking about doing a second wheel and tire setup. So I'm not selling, I'm not getting rid of the stock ones. I actually really like those. So people that kind of dog on, on the stock wheels, these wheels, they are forged wheels. Mine are the satin black ones, the matte black finish that comes with the uh, A91 edition. The launch editions had the same thing. I think that the A91 carbon fiber edition for 2022 has the same wheels. They aren't the two-tone ones, they're the all black ones, and I think they look really good. Problem is, I have been having traction issues uh, since we've upped the power and we keep messing with that and we're still in the process of, of getting it to where it needs to be and doing some testing. Traction has been a, a huge issue for me and so uh, I wanted to go with a wider set of wheels. And I wanted to get the stance exactly what I wanted. I wanted a little bit different set of wheels. And so uh, that's what's behind me. I ordered these from uh, Speed Industry. So. I reached out to, to Alex at Speed Industry, asked about getting some wheels, and the problem was uh, everything's back ordered. Everything's back ordered through like March. And so I was like, all right, well, I, he said I could get you the this color, but not the color you're looking for. Uh, but I really wanted the color that I'm looking for. So I said, hey, I'll wait. And uh, so I placed the order, paid for them. And next thing I know, uh, we were out of town and my son called me and said, hey, uh, a bunch of big boxes just arrived for you. And so uh, he shot me a picture and I was like, wow, uh, check the specs on those. Make sure that they say this, this, this. He checked them and they did. So uh, I was pretty excited that they came really in about two weeks rather than eight to 12 weeks. So that's cool. Problem I've got now is I've got the tire, the wheels, but I don't have the tires. The tires are backward. So uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going with once those come in. But for today, let's take a look at the wheels. What did I end up going with? I'm gonna bring them out into the sun, get a good look at them. So these are from Titan 7 and ordered them, like I said, through uh, Speed Industry. And these are set up, they are Supra spec. So they're already set up for Supra. So uh, let's take a look at what we got in here. Packing, packaging is really nice. They come boxed really well. First, you've got the uh, cardboard that surrounds it. Then they're in a plastic bag. And then they've got the nice cover. So if we pull this cover off, that's what we went with. So these are TS5s. They're uh, a forged wheel. And these are 19 by 11. So they're a nice wide wheel. Let's get them out of here and take a closer look at them. All right, so these are the wheels that I went with, TS7s. They've got that split spoke design. Uh, they're black, they're machine black, and they've got kind of a cutout, so they're, they've got depth to them. They've got a lot of details. It says the uh, model number there, TS5, Titan 7, and Forged. But look how wide these are. Oh yeah. I can get some nice meaty wide tires on there, and that's what I'm planning on doing, is getting some wider tires, but man, that is a wide, wide wheel. I love it. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, so these are just kind of sitting in here waiting right now. I do have the tires on order. And what I decided to go with, uh, I'll show you guys when they actually come in. Between now and then, uh, they're just gonna kind of sit here and wait. Once I get them mounted up, they're actually probably not going on the car immediately. And that's why I'm not too worried about pieces being back ordered. I wasn't too worried about the wheels being back ordered and I'm not too worried about the tires being back ordered. I think that the end of February is about when they're saying the tires are gonna come in. I just asked yesterday for a, another update, so I'm waiting to hear uh, when they will be coming in. But what I'll do is I will go ahead and ceramic coat the wheels, get everything nice and, and clean and good and prepped so that when they go on, cleanup is super easy. Uh, I'll be using the Avalon King 
ceramic to do it. Uh, pretty easy stuff to use there. And I'll be redoing the car about the same time. So just a, a lot of cool stuff coming up, but can't wait to get these wheels on here. Can't wait to get tires mounted to see just how wide they are. And uh, you know, I'm going bigger. Right now I've got 265, 285, and I will say that I'm going bigger than that. So uh, bigger, a little bit stickier compound. Right now I'm on the uh, all season three plus. So Michelin Sport three plus. The, these will become my winter uh, setup. And so these will go back on every, every winter. And then the new wheels will go on for summertime. So when I'm out playing around, having fun, uh, I kind of would like them for towards the end of February, there is uh, our next next month's February's cruise in Oklahoma event is up at Hallett, the uh, road race course. And so I would like to have these mounted up and be able to throw them on for the day just to see the grip. As long as the weather's uh, cooperating somewhat and it's not super cold, should be able to feel a difference between the all seasons and what's going on there uh, and the width just for a little bit better grip out there on the, on the course. So that's what I've got going on guys. And uh, yeah, I do have a couple other pieces that I have ordered that I'm waiting for to come in. Oh, and for these, uh, they don't come with the tire pressure sensors. And I know a lot of people when they swap out their original tires that are stock OEM tire or wheels, OEM wheels for aftermarket, they pull out the TPMS uh, sensors. I'm not doing that because I'm going to be running two sets of wheels and I want to be able to switch them back and forth. And so I found some online. I'll leave a link down below. I did ask on uh, both Facebook and on the super forums and everyone says that these ones, these specific ones that I ordered have worked for them with no issues automatically calibrate through the, uh, through the car system. So shouldn't have any issues with those and they're expected to arrive Monday. So I'll have everything sitting here waiting. And as soon as, we get those tires in, we'll get them mounted up and I'll show you. I'll probably throw them on the car just so you guys can see what they look like. I mean, it's it's a five minute job to, to swap out wheels and tires here in the uh, in the garage, so not a big deal at all. I've got everything I need. And so we can, we can do that and uh, get a good look at what they look like, see what the fitment looks like, see if I'm gonna need any spacers. I don't think so. I've seen some other people running these same wheels and the fitment looks pretty spot on. Uh, so that's what we're gonna go with. All right, guys, any questions, any comments, leave them down below. As always, if you haven't done so before, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Costs you nothing. Helps us out tremendously with the always changing YouTube algorithm. So appreciate it, guys. I'll see you next time.